we have 100% of the members present, no guests uh, at the moment, but we, since we have 100% uh, members, 20, we obviously have a quorum. 20 to 30 so years in the wild. I will call the meeting to order. And we can start with the, uh, the minutes that uh, Rick sent around. And I know there were a couple uh, exchanges uh, uh, on those. Any other comments on those? Move that we accept the minutes as submitted. Second. Uh, it's moved and second to accept them as uh, uh, submitted and updated. Uh, so we'll accept those. Oh, all in favor say aye. <laughs> uh, that's right. Thank you. Yeah, I just became king in the. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, dear. Let's see. Treasurer's report. Okay, no changes that I know about. The Rider Fund holds steady at $4,191.32. The donation expense has grown a little, as you know, because the East Club and um, uh, contributions. So that's $348.34. The Hubberston Preservation Trust, I went with the numbers I had last month. I did ask Kelly if it, if it was updated, but in full disclosure, I only asked her yesterday. <laughs> so, and, and we were busy doing CPC stuff too, which, so, so I don't think there's anything to worry about. Though at one point it did dip, we know, because of the trust fund and blah, blah, blah. But they say it has rebounded pretty much in most of those accounts. Good. Um, old business, uh, nothing on Destiny's Garden probably. And the uh, I can Hunter's project is done. Is that a done done? So done we can just take that off. Done done done. Land priority subcommittee. Uh, now Rick sent around uh, an updated file, uh, and I took a look at uh, that file. Um, you want to just go over what what's in that Excel sure. file, the way it, it's uh, structured right now? Yeah. Um, so there were. There were actually two files, but um, I took all the suggestions for top ten yep. and merged them together. There were um, we ended up I, rather than just limited to t ten based on some arbitrary thing. Yeah. I just it turned out there was a list of uh, parcels that were owned by twenty three different landowners. Okay. So some of the landowners obviously have more than one parcel. So rather than separate them by parcel, because if you're going to go talk to somebody about, you know, sell, selling their land or you know, having the town buy it, you're going to be talking about all their parcels that might be Chapter 61. Anyway, so there are 23 parcels, um, 23 landowners, and um, of those, uh, there were uh, about five or six that were um, common among all the people that made suggestions and they were the obvious choices for, you know mostly the larger landowners and then there were some really good interesting choices on some of the others so we have a list of basically um, you know 23 properties or combinations of properties that we can score so I then took those and I poured them into the the uh, evaluation tool um, just sorted uh, again for lack of any other yep. way to do it by uh, property size okay and I you know as I would suppose the next step is for us to take a look at I, I doubt that all all of those properties we're gonna want to necessarily score there may be more detailed information about them than than what's obvious just from the assessor's data that will whittle that list down some. But it'll give us a good starting point for properties to start scoring. Um, okay, I'll go back to that. And you know, the next step is to have some uh, meeting, and I agree uh, we need to have a meeting to just go over that stuff. We'll have a meeting uh, for the, uh, my thought is to have a meeting with the trills, uh, the, uh, the subcommittee that's working on that, and then re bring it in and report. And I just want to discuss it uh, at this point in time. Any comments on that? Uh, sounds okay. Sounds like a great start. 
Um, oh, and, and then thank you, Mark, for updating all that stuff. I mean, that that was a good uh, workbook that you that put helped. together. Okay. There. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, Definitely. absolutely, because there have been some changes. And do you want to comment um, on? At the last meeting, you said that oh, on the uh, you change in the change in the okay, yeah, chapter. Yeah, at, at our last meeting, I was confused. Uh, you know, presented it that, that it looked like chapter properties had doubled in the last two years. Right. It's not true. Um, the we're at the point right now where, that I thought we were at last meeting, uh, roughly four thousand four thousand acres. Uh, yeah, there's a little under 4,000 acres in Chapter 61 right now, but two years ago it was not 2,000. That was the wrong number. I was looking. I was looking at the wrong, wrong column of data. So it's it's increased by you know more like 15 percent or something in the last two years. So it wasn't it wasn't uh, <laughs> this dramatic new development in town. Okay. Um, we'll forgive you this once. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, you got a comment? Just, well, just a, a question. Do, do we have a deadline we're working against, or do we want to set a... Yeah, they... Uh, well, let's see. On the, on that trails, on the uh, uh, property uh, subcommittee thing, yeah. that land evaluation, yeah, we should probably set something like uh, have it try to get uh, a final consensus on the first... 10 to 15 properties and I don't know uh, we can do it by the end of the next meeting or something because if we get uh, uh, we, we should have uh, my, my next uh, item on the agenda would be to uh, uh, set up some dates and so uh, I'm available next week and get them start those off soon so I'm available Monday Tuesday and Friday next week I don't know if we, uh, we can set a date right now but so uh, that's to get together. these three musketeers. One, two, three. Yeah. That's subcommittee. Yeah. Okay. And then and we'll just <laughs> send out the outside member, uh, uh, Mike oh, Stoll. Oh right. Who was not here tonight? So. Yeah, so I, what about I, Tuesday? Right. I can't yeah, do right. Monday. But. Monday's out. For him. Monday's out. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday. How about Tuesday. Which would be the fourteenth. Right. I, I think it's okay. Oh, that's Valentine's that's not Day. That's happening on the 14th. You, you're all set <laughs> <Yeah>. for me. We're <laughs> <laughs> good. She got candy for Christmas. <laughs> oh, French. It's very good. French chocolate. On <laughs> the 14th? You still have it? Oh, oh God, no. You still have it? <laughs> Tuesday, Didn't 14th? Make it to New 14th is fine. Yeah, me too. All right, so let's we'll get together on the 14th. Uh, one one thing I want to bring up in conjunction with that, you know, is uh, as part of the evaluation thing, this connectivity. Uh, but in conjunction with uh, a, a, a subset, but I think a very important aspect of that, which was sort of discussed a little bit uh, prior to the start of the meeting, is uh, trail connectivity. And I don't think that's specifically uh, an item in the evaluation tool. No. Yeah, it is. That, that trail, trail connectivity is? Connectivity or just Specific, connectivity? Uh, no, I don't think maybe so. Maybe just connectivity. Yeah. Well, I think in the narrative, we talk about whether the whether the connection is suitable for trail or not. For instance, you might have two parcels that are connected, but there's wetland. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. It's isolating, separating them in some respects for for birds yeah <laughs> doesn't make any difference <laughs> it's good it's good connectivity for some wildlife but Oops. for people yeah <laughs> <Don't be laughs> happy. But, but for, uh, so I think that's mentioned so it's so in terms of how you how much uh, so in terms of weight what you, weight. How, how much weight you, you what give, score you give it yeah yeah what score you give that connectivity would I, I, I guess what the in, in behind that maybe this should uh, we don't have such a thing in town, but maybe a, uh, it's one of the things that O'Brien's group asked for. It's kind of like what's going on with the Rare River Trail subcommittee. There's like a, a master map, and it's got uh, proposed trails, uh, existing trails, etc. 
and it is looking towards connectivity. And it would be obviously great to be able to get from one side of town in some reasonable fashion to the other side. And so if some parcels are going to absolutely be critical to that aspect, then uh, so maybe at, uh, at that meeting we can talk about uh, how we would want to get some sort of a uh, uh, potential uh, trail plan that would facilitate that uh, trail connectivity within the town. I heard a rumor somebody was working on a map of all the trails in town. In town? Yeah. But maybe it's. Well, the, uh, yeah. well the, 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 <laughs> the, 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 the River of her Trails has started that, like, and it's gotten into some of the area uh, up beside, behind Dave's and Cindy's, and you can obviously get down to the uh, rail trail, which would get you up, um, but it doesn't go too far into uh, Hubbardson, like, uh, there's, there's no real defined way to get from behind Cindy's across like Williamsville Road and get into the state forest. And the, there are some uh, watershed properties that will get you over to uh, Williams. In fact, uh, Steph and I two years ago walked from uh, Williamsville Road uh, parallel to Canesto and uh, did get over to the state forest. And I think there's one property the, the uh, watershed probably owns a majority of that land. I think we had to get into Carol, some a little bit of Carol Peters land at one point, and I think there was one spot uh, that uh, somebody on cruise owns that goes all the way down to the river. But other than that, so there were a couple of places where it might have been a little, uh, had to figure a way to get across there. And the trail actually starts out nice, uh, right at the pull-off on the west side of the Canesto, uh, where it crosses under Williamsville, is a little pull-off in a parking right, area. Right. And the trail starts off like, oh, this is great. So we went, I don't know what, a, a half a mile, but then after a half a mile, it was <laughs> bushwhacking. Um, Going north or south from Williamsville? North. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's all, uh, that's pretty much all Chapter land, except for what is that? Curtis land Curtis to the to the That's east right. of uh, yeah. what's that? Yep. Carol Curtis. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think the uh, people with the uh, Frisians? Frisians go down that far. Mag back. Max or Max or something like that. But I think they're also. But anyway, that would be. I, I think it's a key thing that we could talk about in uh, potential ways, and so that's when we're looking at the different properties, uh, and where they're obviously, if you can connect with as existing trail systems, so there, there definitely, I think, will be development up in behind Dave's and Cindy's, and that's a pretty nice area to be able to get in and access to, and I, I'm pretty confident that we're going to be able to get from that area, which goes all the way over to 62, to the other side, which will get you into uh, uh, the prison camp area, uh, Colebrook, et cetera. And from there, you can get over to Ocam, and so the, so that part of it is done. And so the, uh, the likelihood of getting trails all the way from there up to behind, up to where, uh, behind Dave and Cindy, uh, that's gonna be, I think, uh, happen. Now the tricky part is to get from there exactly. over to the state forest. Uh, the state forest. Right. And but if you could do that, that'd be a nice connection. That'd be great. So behind so, you, is that still Harvardston or is that Barry? It, it, it uh, seems like it's almost Barry. Yeah, it's both. Yeah, it's sort right. of. Yeah, my property actually borders Barry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Dave's property goes right down to the Canesto, and that's right. the property. Oh, that's down the bridge, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's an existing trail, and it starts out in, in Hubbardston, but then it crosses into Barry. Okay. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of discussion of being, about being able to get across uh, uh, the Burnshirt River down there. There's the DCR has got one of those uh, uh, 
They call it a forest pontoon. vehicle. What do they call yeah. it? They call it a pontoon bridge. Uh, but with that, I mean, that'll carry a what, 50 ton load of logs yeah. or something. So, so and, uh, I don't know what the status is on being able to use that. But it's proposed, DCR has proposed that bridge. Yeah. And it hasn't been approved yet, but that's pretty much done. DCR done. approved it? DCR I approved mean, it. I uh, mean, uh, proposed it? Proposed it. Oh, that'd it's be on great, their map. So. That's proposed. Um, so now, we need some improvements to get a horse across. Yeah, yeah. But uh, more than that, it's, a, it looks like it's, it's a obviously a, a, a massively strong structure. Right. But it, right now, there's like a three foot step up That's right. to get onto it and off of it. But that would be the easy path. That's the, yeah. it's, the, it's the same bridge that they put across the um, wherever West Branch over in Berry same Falls. Type or the Berry same Falls one. area, same, same type. Yeah. Steel. Yeah, steel. Steel. steel, steel, steel with yeah. Little uh, wooden stringers in between. Uh, steel decking. Uh, there might be some wood on there too. I can't remember. Yeah. I, I, I heard that they had several models of the same thing. Yeah. yeah. They put in a couple different places. Yeah. Um, and also, there's a. Uh, I guess the DCR had bought a bridge to cross the Ware River. Uh, and they bought the bridge, and then they found out they bought the wrong bridge. <laughs> they never went in, uh, but they're still active. Well, the postage is a killer for the return. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And uh, I guess bridge. that was mentioned to, to DCR about putting together a committee and getting some money together and building that, and they said, no, we're already doing that. So that would connect everything. <laughs> well, obviously, the, wow. there's quite a bit of trail stuff on, on both sides right. of Canesso slash where right um, and there was at least some preliminary discussion where the uh, covered bridge road which had a covered bridge on it right. that washed out in the hurricane to, but the abutments are still in relatively good shape there right yeah. so I mean that's something that may be down the way uh, right. a few years but <coughs> yeah. uh, there would be a lot of benefit of being able to get across there mm -hmm. yeah, so. But as you say, the tricky part is getting up to the state forest. All right, so what, uh, that group will get together on Tuesday, right? That's what we just decided yeah. there. What time? Seven? Seven okay? Sure. Seven works for me. Seven p.m. You want to do it at our place? Because you've hosted several times. Is that all right, Rick? <laughs> I have to clear out all the CPC stuff. I know, but the meeting's tomorrow night, so I can clear the dining room table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be you great. Can make them all Valentine's dinner. Yeah. No. <laughs> You'll be lucky to get one of those little. <laughs> yeah. no. What time did you say that, did and you? I've been uh, working on my top 10, too, so I'll get to that. In the, so if anybody else has uh, uh, got any input on that, see if we can get that in by Friday to back into Rick. So we, we have, what, four? Submittals in one, yep. two, four. three, <coughs> four. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right. Um, uh, open space plan subcommittee. So, um, we're not looking too bad. Um, most of the maps are done. Oddly, given my interests, I've, the one that I have not done yet is trails. There's some examples of uh, wow. what they look like. Um, so those are all up on the Google Google Drive mm -hmm. under the OSRB 2023 update maps. Um, does that mean you walk on every trail? I did on the east side of town, wow. and, then, and then I wound up working in here. <laughs> so that petered that Peter away. So it's not, yeah, so I've got to decide exactly what I want to do with to cover the entire town for the mapping right now. So you, 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 you've got something that would be along the lines of what we were talking about, like a, something that captures all the trails we've got? That would be fantastic. Uh, well, yeah, on the east side of town, east side of town. Yeah, but uh, I know, but, like, but that, 
you know, all that stuff isn't going to go in the map that we create for this plan anyway. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've walked stuff that I would never publicize. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ATV trails running through swamps. Mm -hmm. um, but it, but it is nice to have a comprehensive view for to look at internally anyway yeah. and to think further about. Yeah, okay. yeah that would be fantastic. Um, so, text-wise, um, I've I've started uh, re reformatting some of the chapters that aren't changing much. Tim just forwarded me a, a section that he's been working on uh, uh, like an hour ago, so I've read that very carefully. <laughs> um, but we're we're not in bad shape for uh, having the. Uh, the community setting, the environmental inventory, and the inventory of lands chapters together, which means that we need to start thinking about moving into public involvement um, and survey type stuff. Um, we've got a list of. Uh, actually, let me stay on the map topic for a moment. Does it, does anybody have? A contact over at Rod and Gun. I got Greece? the guys. I've got the guys. No, I've got the guy's name that manages the place, but not. Okay. Um, we must know somebody. Yeah. I did. I did a map of hunting and fishing. Yeah. Res resources. Yeah. You know, the one that Bob has right there. What, what would? What, what would you want to know about? That? Um. They could take, I, I, I know which streams are stocked, and I know some of the locations. I'm not sure which, which road crossing they actually dump their trout stocking at. Uh, somebody that was better patched in might know that for sure. And they might have, what I've shown so far are pho pheasant stocking locations, trout stocking, uh, the deer check station at the Rotten Gun, um, all the all the state land that's open to hunting. You want me to and call the guy? If I see, if he's not a guy, he might know somebody who is. I mean, he's yeah, he manages the, the place, but he's not the president of the club. I don't think. Okay. Maybe he is. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I was just uh, you know, if we found anybody that might be interested, I was just going to pass him a copy and say, hey, look at this. You got any suggestions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, appreciate uh, that being involved. Well, thing. exactly. I mean, uh, hunters are a s not insignificant part of our political base in terms of protecting open space. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, well, and there was absolutely zero mention of anything like that in the last edition of the open space plan. <laughs> what, what about uh, points of access and uh, well, that's one other thing I have on there is the uh, boat launches. Well, uh, no, I think we're hunting. Right. We're getting gear out. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Because it, it, that's one of the things DCR is proposed to restrict, is you know, close some of the roads, I guess, that have been open. Mm -hmm. Close some of them? Oh, then they can't get then they can't drive in to get there. Yeah. They have to pull it they, out yeah. Everything. Every. Pretty much everything through Berry Falls has been always been open in the fall for hunting season. So it sounds like they're talking about they're talking that rain, raining back on that. Some. Yeah, raining back on that. It was part of the same news blurb I heard about uh, uh, no longer allowing what they swimming. call long distance swimming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's been an issue. <laughs> But it's long distance hunting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now they, it was clearly defined that long distance swimming was anything outside the buoys for the kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's 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 right. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, well, that means you can't do it. Did right? this one make it all the way around? Uh, I don't know. I, I expect I think, to come up I think we'll go this way. Okay. Maybe this one will go this way. Do you do long distance swimming? Oh, yeah. I yeah. think this one's going to go this way. Do you use the buoy? Do you still have the general fix on it? You got some code of circulation. I stay near shore. So you go on the, on, the, on the Google site, right? 
Yeah. Great. Yeah, there's like 11 there right now, I think. Well, and a place I for the volunteers, too. I saw that. Very nice. Volunteer hours. Oh, wow. That's cool. Remember Tom Robinson came once and, and wanted to wonder, wondered if we could somehow do a waterway, remember? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a good anyway. idea, but we just don't have that, right? Well. Uh, Something that we were potentially we do. Where? Well, I mean, he what, what he was talking about was the West Branch, West Branch, West Branch yeah. which I mean, I'm sure there's trees down across it all over the place, yeah. and I don't know whether it's aside from that if it's navigable, it might be. So uh, kayak canoe sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what he was. But talking people about. are sort of into that, I think. It's, it's, oh yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, next next stage on this project is we'll we'll have the inventory chapters done or done enough to act as a resource to guide the, the next phase, and we need to pull together a sort of a broad based interdisciplinary committee for a couple meetings anyway to talk about goals. Um, Vision, vision, needs, and goals, and action plan. Um, we had we had thrown some names around previously. About uh, I mean, Katie's been interested. Chris Monroe on the planning board has been interested. Uh, we talked about Santa Berry. Um, either Joyce or Rick Green for agriculture and uh, either history or. Con -con issues, depending on which of them was interested, <laughs> if either. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking, I mean, it might make sense for us to ask the select board to formally appoint an ad hoc committee of like six or seven members to do this. I'd like to, if we did that, I would want to approach them with the chairman all already in hand. <laughs> Hopefully, somebody from this table um, and have have open space driving the process. Um, but then, but then contact uh, the other the other thing I was thinking about was maybe Claudia. Uh, Provencal seniors. Hmm? Claudia Provencal is that who was it? Yeah. Yes. Provencal. I mean, seniors are a good, good target audience for open space type stuff yeah. as well. Yeah. I take it she goes to Florida for some period over the winter. And yeah, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure where. Yeah, she does. Do you know when they go? She I don't know, back. but I do know they go. So who's, who holds the fort? Sue Brady? Or? You mean the fort yeah. in there? I don't know. I just know because they they, her granddaughter. Right, um, yeah, why not? But anyway, um, so what do we want to petition the uh, uh, select board for to uh, establish this multidisciplinary? Yeah, I mean, if we wanted to do that, I would, I would just uh, run it, run it through um, Nate and get it, get it before. I mean, it's a trivial issue for them. Yeah. It's just a minor, yeah. minor business It'd item. It'd be nice to, to have the suggestions and names for them. Yeah. Already. Are, are they going to have another one of those? Meetings where they have at least one person from every board and committee. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. That happened once, right? Yeah, the kids yeah. said they were going to do that monthly. Right at no, eight. Quarter, oh, quarter, 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 quarter. When you want that established? But any uh, early March. I was thinking. So is anybody interested in maybe driving that bus? <laughs> Uh, to, what, to, to head up that committee? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I guess I would do it if uh, we don't have any other volunteers, so I'll do that. Uh, all in favor say aye. <laughs> <laughs> <Are you? laughs> all right, I'll I, take that. I'd do it if you don't want to. Uh, that would be good, yeah, because I got a, quite a bit going on. I was right. seeing you what, look at her yeah, and say, really busy. <laughs> <laughs> you, we're busy, but we're not as busy as you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the whole of this stuff. Are you sure, Rick? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, sure. 
Well, I was uh, on my list to call anyway was Sandra Berry and uh, and Joyce, and uh, if she wasn't really interested, which could very well be possible, I can contact Gary for historical, mm -hmm. and I just tell Rick we need to have to come, <laughs> con con part of it, and he would, especially this time of year. But um, yeah, I mean, I was thinking, I was thinking two max of three three meetings for this thing. And the, and the specific uh, thing, what would be the, the output of this committee? Would be the three chapters relating to vision needs and... Uh, okay, so they would, uh, there'd be some writing responsibilities associated with this. Yeah, but they're not... Uh, traditionally, those aren't huge sections of the open space plan. It's not a... It's narrative, though. It's not it, it's crafts some. and... No, no, there's not much in the way of, well, I mean, there could be tables of, yeah. you know, here's... Limited. Here's the same as, same as we have now. We have a table of projects that, you know, we're aiming at over the next seven years. Well, I can certainly help out. Yeah, and I can help out, too. I just didn't really want to drive it. <laughs> I wonder whether we want to even get involved in select board. Well, we don't have to. Um, it's We're less likely to get, you know, lose control of uh, <laughs> How do I say that politely? Well, uh, yeah. I, mean, I was originally thinking that we would, we would just drive it on our own, but in terms of, Getting I mean, it's, it's, it's something that you definitely, definitely want to publicize. Yeah. You want to get agendas out there, yep. and it's kind of awkward if it's an agenda for a subcommittee, <laughs> you know what mm. I mean? <laughs> Um, it would make more sense as a agenda from the ad hoc o open space recreation plan and update committee. Yeah. Do, you, do you have a sample or something of what you would uh, uh, like as an output from another plan that another town had or something? That to, yeah. I mean, if you had something to yeah. say, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't need to be too different from what we did last time around. Okay. okay. Um, so we could even use our own as an example of yeah. just updated. Yeah, I mean, I'll take a closer look. I mean, I've got several example plans that I've been okay. looking at. Yep. I mean, you know, we can take we can take a look at them and see what we think makes sense in terms of format and uh, content. Yeah, because when you but talk, when I mean, it's particularly relative to Rick when he goes and talks to people that are going to be on that uh, subcommittee. The uh, so th this is the kind of stuff we're, we're talking oh, yeah. about. So, yeah. but I, I I can follow up with you and we can we can well. I mean, I, I, I guess it makes sense to come to a resolution here on whether we do or don't think we want to form an ad hoc or have these like well, it's form an ad hoc. It, it, you know what? It, it, we, we get better buy-in, you know, of, of the plan and, mm -hmm. you know, then a year from now, two years from now when we say, Hey guys, you know, this was in the plan, this is one of the goals, and the select board couldn't very well say, oh, yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to do that. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a good, yeah, no, the buy-in thing is a big thing. Yeah. So, yeah. It, and that alone would make it a good idea to do it and, and get the, uh, you know, relative to uh, being inclusive and uh, publicizing, it would get out through those committees to others, what we're doing here yeah. and stuff. And if you had a, member, a representative from from those other committees, then uh, and that and that group said, okay, this is what we submitted, uh, it gets pretty wide widespread support. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking in the vicinity of seven seven ish people. Well, you you have that list anyway. That was that was a pretty good list, I thought. Well, that's more like twelve, though, isn't it? No, it sits in that range for uh, for outside of you know mm -hmm. the people that are already on the subcommittee. So, so I'll, I'll circle back with you before um, uh, tomorrow morning. Before <laughs> 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 uh, midnight. <laughs> it's it's either a week from Thursday or. It is a week. It's a week from tomorrow that I would need to run a request by Nate for the 
to get a bit of a business item on the next select board. Okay. Drop off all the work you uh, over the over the weekend or something. Okay. Um. So. Are we? Did we decide that we we're having another meeting in two weeks to go? Yes, at the end we of the month said tentatively the twenty seventh. Okay. Which is the last? No, yeah, last Wednesday in February, right? Yes. So about by about that time, I would hope to have a some kind of a draft of these opening inventory chapters available for the uh, committee to take a look at, and then they would in turn drive the or not drive but inform the process of goal setting. <laughs> That's where we're at on open space. Good. National plan. Good. Sounds good. Some good stuff there, Mark. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, that's all I got for old business, new business. Uh, I just take note of uh, some of the stuff that's been mentioned here. Uh, Mark has got a spreadsheet up on the drive to capture volunteer hours. And uh, Tim's already got some uh, work that he can put in on it from a little bit of some clearing he did up on the loan. That's good. Uh, actually put that day in, or that hour in. Oh, the parking lot? Did you? Yeah. Yeah, that's a mess. Huh? Did you just drag it back? Or? Yeah, it's, I, I made two little piles north of the wildflowers. You stand Not right on top there. of them. <laughs> What's that? Not on top of them? No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, beyond them. In, the, in amongst the trees. If you're standing in the parking lot, you kind of squint through the. Well, it kind of dips drive. down back yeah, there. Yeah, it goes too, down. So. And, yeah. Uh, maybe one of the piles is big enough to be used by some kind of wildlife. A little critter. critter. Did you fill in the foundation? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, have, have I told you before that the, the rabbits really love your brush pile? From, oh, like, oh, yeah. When we cleared all the, uh, speckled alder and you put it all in one big yeah, pile. Yeah, one big pile. The rabbits duck under there every time we, I come through with Ruby. Does <laughs> <laughs> Ruby go flying after them? <laughs> That's cute. And it's dense enough to, so Ruby doesn't get in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. The I had a, a call from uh, Becky Gallagher. Uh, she's president of Bay State Trail Riders Association. Um, just uh, uh, seeing what the potential of uh, increasing the uh, trail length over at Malone Road was, and then we had we have discussed that uh, potentially doing that. I mean, the uh, uh, they like to have when when Bay State. Uh, organizes uh, one of their trail rides, uh, they like to give riders an option of like, uh, you know, six miles, eight miles, and even 12 miles or something like that. And uh, so if we added a few more, we can get up to about 10 miles, I think, now of uh, trails, something like that. So how would this, how would this relate to Malone? Uh, they were just, uh, there's already a loop over there, and we had talked about uh, using uh, and that's on what the uh, direction wise on the south side, east side. I'm not sure how that orients. But on the, uh, we had talked about that the, the was be potential to have a trail uh, on the other side of the uh, road, oh. if you would. That'd be the north side. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And I haven't looked at the map to see if that had add another mile or what uh, over there. I don't know. What it the, might be a mile. Might be a mile. Yeah. On the left as you're going in? Yeah. 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 Just to go in and come back out there or tie in with somewhere else? Well, it would come back in, it would tie just into that. Uh, I mean, uh, relative to uh, DCR uh, being amenable and looking at that uh, <laughs> uh, restriction that they've got to be able to go down Old Malone and then take that road that comes back up to Williamsville, but that would have to uh, see if that were at all possible within, within the constraints of, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the What's that? Not Williamsville. Moves, moves back up to the Hayfield on Mount Jeff. Uh, Mount Jeff Road, yeah. French yeah. Road at that point, right? Or no, Mount no, Jeff. No, 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 Mount Jeff Road. 
That's the no name trail. But at any rate, yeah. <laughs> that is what we're talking about. <laughs> it's a nice trail. It is. I love that one. It, it's. Uh, so yeah. I don't know what uh, you know. And DCR, uh, relative to, they want to do more restrictions right at the uh, Colbrook Waterhead area there, where you, the pipes come in and water yeah. goes off to different locations. But they're they're much more amenable to doing things like up behind Dave's and Cindy's in that area. Uh, so they would rather say, if we, okay, if we if we give you this stuff, then then we're going to be more restrictive where we want to be more restrictive. Mm -hmm. And uh, and from the stuff that the, the day that you're on that regular uh, committee uh, advisory committee, the River Watershed Advisory Committee, uh, so days goes to those meetings. But the uh, this trails subcommittee, River <coughs> Trails subcommittee, that's a very broad group in it right now. And so the, uh, and they're making good headway, very good headway, and a lot more open discussion with DCR, and so DCR, particularly away from that area. So obviously the lands up behind there, I mean it's way away. Mm -hmm. So, so what does Becky want to do? What, what's that? What she wants more trails over. Well, the yeah, it would be nice to be able to expand that, so there would be you could get up to probably twelve to fourteen miles, maybe. A, Trails, if you did, were able to do something over there. So, I, and it, it's not a big deal, but it, the, I just thought it'd be something since we had talked about it anyway. That that yeah. might be a nice place to to expand it's the trails nice along. Who's the we? What's that? Yeah. Well, that's that's where I was going. <laughs> the the <laughs> royal we. Who's the we? I mean, oh. are we? We have to contact North County to it and yeah. DCR, and then the work has to get done. So, Tim, you're the closest one. <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, so. Well, would Day State help fund it? Yeah, I mean, it would Day yeah. State help There's fund the work? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure I they would. I think they would. Yeah. They did, oh, they yeah, yeah just relative to this. If funding... It's if, actually, they're mostly along the west side of that. You can, you can get around them to do a loop internal to the Malone property. I'm yes. not sure you could get over to the no-name trail. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. But you can if you don't ask. No, but what you could do is maybe a loop that came back to it and then down Old Malone, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. If if DCR. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, as a starting point, I I think a loop there would be great. Yeah. In Malone. If All right. Well, loop. well, maybe it, I mean that was just food for thought at this point in time, and it lined up with some of our previous thoughts. So. Does does. It, does the Bister crew want to come and help us make it? I'm sure they would. Yeah, that's a good Well, as well as offer financial support uh, if there was uh, something that we wanted to do on that. I mean, they for the bridges, they paid for, for all of the railings. So they paid mm -hmm. for that. They paid uh, for the materials, a good contribution, over $1,000 for the stuff we did to shore up that bridge that goes over the Canesto. Uh, so they, they got some pretty deep pockets. That's a big organization at this point. So uh, who, who paid for the culverts down on uh, was it Canesto Brook Trail? There's a couple of new plastic culverts. Did, did you put those in or DCR? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was that was a part of the fund. I think that Becky paid for the some of the material. Yeah, the the uh, HDPE culvert that we we got put yeah. in. Yeah, across state they helped yeah, pay too. But there's only mm -hmm. one. Right. There's just one there. Uh, there's, yeah, you just replaced one this last one. There, there was a, there was an old stone culvert that was actually dangerous because it was caving in, uh, and at points in time there were holes in it about this big that went down mm. like yeah. two feet. Yeah. And of course, yeah. stepped in it could easily oh, snap a leg or something. Yeah. And so that uh, we took that out, put a HDPE uh, double wall culvert in there, and then covered that back over. Well, is at least one there is there is one further up. Uh, it, it, on the no name trail, is at least one. Well, it's, I don't know if that's no name trail or Malone Road. But, um, from from the uh, wildflower meadow at Malone Road, where the town road ends, uh, you're going northeast, I think. You're, you're talking the old stone culvert down there. Yeah. No. Uh, um, well, I don't know if there is a stone culvert. There's a section that, w that is wet all the time. Oh, true. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a wet section. So the... if if we're approaching DCR about letting us use that, um, installing a 
permanent crossing there so that anybody crossing there, whether it's... Yeah, that's, there's one section in that's really mucky. Yeah. Yeah, th that would be another thing to fix that up. And, and relative to some fundings, whether you put the tracks and stone or something in there, or some sort of combination of that and some culvert, yeah, I'd have to take a look at the water flow, if, right. if a culvert would be suitable in there, or so if it's just standing water there, there and seepage. Is, there actually is a spot that would call for a culvert. If there was, if, if but along was, those lines, they they'd pay for that in a heartbeat. If that was part of our proposal to DCR that we we're going to Improve install it, something, right? that helps protect water quality, separating the pedestrian use yep. from, the, from the water. Yeah. Mm. Yep. So that's a selling point then. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would yeah. Be neat. I, I mean the, the 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 first step in the process, I think, would have to be. Uh, scouting that internal loop on the lawn, make sure that we could actually propose something on upland soil to North County. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then and then go hit North County and uh, you know, on whatever you know, it would it would kind of be separate tracks, you know, the internal trail versus trying to approach watershed, mm -hmm. which is I mean those, 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 those are kind of two different two different yeah. projects. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. But the, the 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 watershed project would even be probably more significant. That's a, a going down there and then back up that old town road, whatever the name of that was. Uh, uh, <coughs> Jassy had that name of that. that it's on some old map in town, whatever mm. that road was. Um, all right. Well, well, that's just food for thought, and we can uh, pursue that then, uh, at subsequent meetings. But I just putting it out and sounds like a, something that we're oh, at least interested in yeah. pursuing. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, particularly where, the, where there's definite support for funding, as well as Becky's got really good contacts within, mm -hmm. uh, with DCR, et cetera, mostly down in her area, but she does have good familiarity with DCR and uh, would definitely then support if needed up here. Um, the uh, Rick sent around something. Uh, just be, this is just a sort of public information. Uh, there's uh, Keystone Project applications are being accepted right now. So they had not. Uh, I think I was at the last Keystone uh, a literal meeting. That wasn't dead, but they just were uh, had uh, virtual meetings and a few other things over the last couple of years. But now they're getting back to a regular group meeting and it's a it's a pretty intensive thing it's a two full days uh, you stay over in fact if, I don't know if it, uh, Friday Saturday and Sunday I think my might, might have stayed there I twice. Say it was Thursday through Saturday if I yeah, remember. whatever it's a pretty intensive thing uh, well well worth it if anybody is interested in in doing that so uh, that's so they're taking those applications in it. The, it's held at the, the uh, Harvard Forest, uh, Harvard University Forest place over in Petersham. Um, and they do a really good job. And it's a, there's field trips, uh, uh, it's probably three or four classroom sessions every single day, so it's good stuff. Um, and then there's uh, the uh, online open space uh, convention stuff that's being held right now. Uh, that's tomorrow, tomorrow at 12. What do those run? An hour and a half, two hours? Um, hour and a half. I think a couple of them are an hour and a other couple are an hour and a half. Is that the first one tomorrow? No, second, 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 second one. one. You were at the first one. Yeah. I saw your name. Um, <laughs> yeah, this, the one um, tomorrow. Just is outreach, right? Yes, it's, uh, it's discussion of outreach, and they've got people from Bolton and a couple other towns to talk about how they do it in their current <coughs> town as far as uh, reaching out to people and talking to them about conserving their land. Yep. Um, that's that's tomorrow's session. The I can't remember what the third session is, but the last one is um, has to do with mapping <laughs> so, but if you if you click on the if you got the 
if you click on the link in the email, you can go to the page and see what the sessions are. The first session was really kind of just a general discussion. Um, and then my, just my last note, which already came up, was just uh, thanks to Tim for getting that uh, brush stuff cleared out. That's, uh, that's what I've uh, got for new business. Anything uh, else anyone wants to bring up? Anything else on uh, the uh, people that uh, are the developing over there on uh, off of French Road? Off of French Road, yeah. No, I haven't checked to see if they've had any more sales over there yet or not. I should do that. <coughs> one house, not done. Yeah. What's that? One house is done. One house. On the outside, it looks pretty done. Well, the one, the, the house that was standing there, somebody bought that, right? Right. Looks like they're going to rehab it. I oh, think. they yeah. bought it. Somebody yeah. bought it. Somebody bought it. Penements or something? Lucille knows. Yeah, Lucille knows. Yeah. I would ride there. I never thought to do this. But I guess, yeah. I don't know. It's just so different now. It's, it's mm -hmm. Progress, question mark. So. <laughs> People have to live somewhere, right? In fact, I thought one of the open space things was going to have something to do with like cluster housing, wasn't it? Maybe that's the next one. Well, I, I saw it at some point and then it didn't yeah, materialize. Be, yeah, that's a, that might have been the third one that I don't remember exactly. Oh, yeah. So, anyway. So, shall we um, double check then? One, two, three, Tuesday at seven, did you say? Yep. At our place? And then February 22nd, yep. which is not next Wednesday, but the next Wednesday, to hone in on the select board liaison thing, right? Um, we'll be doing that before that. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. But we'll be able to talk about so, whatever, then, whatever status the uh, first half of the open space plan is in at that point. Because the next Wednesday is March 29th, so it's way at the end of March, the way the weeks run. So. Yeah, and that's why we're doing the. And all the meetings have to be in this room now because it's a lot easier to record. They're, they're strongly encouraged, yeah. Because I thought it's going to be harder to schedule things, but it didn't seem that way tonight. It seems to have been working all right so far. I'm surprised. I don't know exactly how or why, because yeah. it's not very organized. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, but I haven't heard of any problems so far. I, I think if there's a serious conflict, you know, if, if, it's, if it's not available, and, it's, and that's when we really need time. to meet, if it's not easy to yeah. find another time for us, yeah. then I think we could probably do it. And yeah. they so make arrangements. But so it's not mandatory. They're it's encouraging that encouraged. this is first choice, yeah. as long as it works. Yeah. OK, that's one. All righty. All right. Anything else? Has anybody been it? around the trails? Since uh, actually, the that was on my list there too, on the underneath your stuff. Uh, the lowdowns and so forth. Yeah, to see what, if there's any yeah. other stuff yeah. down. I'll bet, I'll bet Gates Hill is in bad shape. <laughs> That's I'm afraid. I, one of these days, I'm gonna just take a walk. I haven't done it yet. Yeah. Um, I did Red Oak Link, Laurel. Um, the uh, bikers have been very proactive. Oh, um, wow. Link, I like that area. Yes. Link was in really bad shape there where we did the uh, triax work. Um, and they cleared it all. Wow. wow. That's good. good. They're young. <laughs> <laughs> Generally speaking. Did they come in? Do you think they came in with chainsaws? Yeah. Wow. There are a couple trees down in Malone, too. Yes. Um, on the trails some, uh, there, I was thinking when I was thinking about doing a on the work day the to do the parking trail. lot. There's a tree down. Fairly yeah, there's, large, there's I one, think. Another it. one leaning into the hay field. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing a work day, uh, well, work hour, um, sometime soon. Does anybody know Gulf Road over? Uh, it's not in Northfields. 
the little town just east of Northfield, west west of Orange on of Route Two. Gulf Road. Yeah, we've been up there. Irving. That's what it is. Irving. Yeah, well, we've been right on the Gulf river Road, there, right? right? Yeah. Well, Route 2A is right yeah. on the river, but this goes north away from the river, and it, um, it's fairly steep hillsides on both sides of the road. The river must have been blocked for a couple of days. Really? There were trees broken off and uprooted from, you know, this size to this size, wow. both sides of the road. I think that's up where so we did some uh, trail work up there. I did about uh, uh, 60 to 80 feet of uh, uh, triax and stone for <coughs> take care of a wet area up there for Northfield uh, uh, the town town oh, committee yeah. join McGee yeah. but that's where so that was just plain block because of that yeah. um, so I guess that's it um, Can we, uh, potentially look at maybe sure. Tuesday morning Doing. Uh, neither, I'll shoot you a message. Sounds good. Sure, you don't have to babysit Todd. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, probably in the morning I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So All right motion set. to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. You got a second? All, All right. in favor? Aye. 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 Very good, folks. See you on the 27th. Thank you, group.